Well, Shabbat Shalom. This is my last PowerPoint on hope, and I hope that you like it, pun intended. I want you to join me tonight, 745 Central, on the One New Man Network. It's going to be a powerful time. Um, God is so moving at House of David. I know he's moving in many churches around the world, and I'm so excited for all. So when I say that he's really moving, I don't want you to think there's some kind of exclusive thing. God is, is moving powerfully through many, many different denominations. Anybody that invites the Lord in to have some freedom, you're going to have a move of God. And uh, so praise God for your church, your congregation. I bless all of you. We're not in competition with each other. We're here to bring the kingdom. We, we believe the Lord's kingdom should come in all of our different lives. But I want to give you a scripture for this Shabbat and uh, join me at 745 Central here on the One New Man Network or come to House of David and join us at the service. Zechariah 9.12. This is our Shabbat verse. Return to your stronghold, O prisoner of hope. Today I declare that I will restore double to you. Some people ask and people write in and say, why doesn't House of David meet on Sunday? We meet on Saturday. When's the real Sabbath? When's this? That None of that really matters to me. I am not keeping Shabbat Friday night because it is, quote unquote, the real Sabbath. It is the real Sabbath. But I'd be lying to you if you said, well, that's the motivation. When God birthed House of David, and he did in a farmhouse in Oklahoma, we were meeting on Friday nights because I was preaching on Sundays. So it had to do with my work. And my work hadn't changed. In 16 years of House of David, I still preach Shabbat Friday night, and I'm typically Sundays in churches. And uh, But this Zechariah 9.12, when it says return to the stronghold, House of David is an apostolic portal. It is an, like an aircraft carrier, if you heard us preach that. Uh, it is a place where you can come and renew your strength. The reason we meet on Friday nights is so that our friends that have services on Sunday can come and join us. And that's what this scripture is about. Return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. I declare it to you, I'll restore double. Uh, that restoration of double has to do with two feasts that I can pull up quickly when he restores us double. That would be Passover and Tabernacles. So we have those feasts here. As Jews, we come. You're sitting under rabbinical teaching, spirit-filled feast. And the, most of the time, that's where that restoration comes. I mean, I know that there's a restoration at Sukkot as well, uh, Pentecost. and um, But there's two times a year where you come in the fall and in the spring feast, and there is promises in both of those feasts in the scripture that the restoration of double. There's times of return. So one of the reasons House of David is here, so that you can not only have Shabbat and the feasts, it's so that, so to say, my Sunday brothers and sisters who are doing their work is unto the Lord, and that is the Lord, can come to the Friday house, and we can come together, Jew and Gentile, one in Messiah. And we can come to this stronghold in this place where it's natural for us to meet on the Shabbat. That'd probably be the best way to say it. But we can come together as one new man. And it says in Ephesians 3.20 that he'll do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think when we come together in covenant restoration. That's the heart of House of David. We want you to be able to come and join us. We're not asking you to switch to Friday or Saturday. We're not legalistic about Friday or Saturday. I hope I'm not hurting any of your feelings. I know that the real Shabbat's on Saturday. But you know what? With Jesus, he's our Jubilee. He is our Shabbat. I could say Shabbat Shalom with Jesus in my heart on Monday. You know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but we meet on Fridays because that's what God has asked us to do. And it works for us. I have friends that meet on Saturday. I have friends that meet on Sunday. And, uh, it, I don't think the day is as much important as it is your heart. So join us tonight. Now, if it's in your heart, join us. Your hope will be encouraged. Thank you for all your kind comments on the, this series of hope. I hope that this truly has helped you. I want to close with this scripture, Psalms 38 and 15. But for you, O Lord, do I wait. It is you, O Lord. My God, who will answer? That's my hope. And that hope I give to you. Shabbat Shalom and Shalom Aleichem. Hope to see you tonight, either in the house or online. Till next time, Shalom.